Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have already shown you how to design this dashboard and how to connect this dashboard with this button. So if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to description there I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing, just click on the suggestion on the right side of your screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design for this one that is add user. When I click on this, here you can see this, this GUI is shown over here. So this is a complete project that's why this button is functional so i'm going to show you how to design this one and how to connect this user control with this button so let's start with that let me close this and we are actually working on this one that is a pharmacy management video so move back over here and here you can see this now dashboard is connected over here so first thing what i have to do is i have to just add one new user control inside this one so Move back to the solution explorer, select this administrator you see, just right click on this, click on add and select user control. And here what you have to do is you have to just write you see underscore add user and click on add and this will add a new form. After this, let me maximize this one because we don't need this part for now. Just right click and go to properties and there just change this back color to click on custom and white after this what we have to do is we have to just copy the size from this one so click on this and remove back over here and copy the size so 1104,770 just move back over right click and go to properties and paste the size over here and hit enter here you can see this now this one is enlarged and after this what we have to do is we have to add label over here so let me just drag one label and drop it over here just click on this and change the text sorry not the size I have to change the text over here so change this one to add user hit enter after this we have to change the font so click on this one bold and size is 22 and hit enter, enter. just place this okay I guess I have just used the wrong font so font is century century gothic select this and click on okay okay now this one is looking nice after this what we have to do is we have to add few more labels so just drag and drop it so we have to actually add four five six seven labels total so let me just drag seven labels for now so copy this and paste it once again two one more and we need one more over here after this what we have to do is we have to actually add few more labels on the, this right side so let me just paste it so one more over here one over here and one more over here after this what we have to do is we have to add few more stuff that is nothing but first the combo box so I'm going to use this Guna 2 combo box just drag and drop it over here like this okay so now we have added this combo box and before adding other text fields and button what we have to do is I have to actually set the labels name so what I'm going to do is just click on this and set the label name so change the label name this one to nothing but user control hit enter change this one to name hit enter change this one to DOB and in bracket I'm going to name this one date of birth okay so I missed something like this and this one to change this one to mobile number this one to change the label 6 to email address or email ID whatever you like next one to username this one to password okay after this what we have to do is we have to just increase the font of these labels so what I'm going to do is move back to the complete project just click on this let me just copy the font size for this one so font size is regular and 12 so just select press the serial key and select these all one by one make sure you select only these labels not the form 
After this, just move back over here, click on this, default font, regular, and sizes 12 and hit enter. And now these are looking nice. After this, what I have to do is I have to just change, make few changes for this comma box. So first click on this and select the fork color. Search for the fork color. It means that whatever written inside this one in this color by default. So click on this, select black. It means that whatever written inside this one is black color. And we have to just increase the font too. So let me move back over and let me check that font is actually 12 for each of these. Okay. So select the size, font size to 12. Click on OK. And after this, what we have to do is we have to set the size for this one, this combo box. So move back over here, click on this and let me copy the size for this one. 340,36. Click on this. After this, what we have to do is we have to add few items inside this one. So click on this. Let me just show you again. Click on this one. Click on items. And after this, we have to add items inside this one. So move back over here, click on this. And I'm going to copy these two. So administrator and pharmacist, we have only two. If you have added any other, then you have to mention the roles over here. So click on OK. After this, what we have to do is we have to add text boxes. So search for text box. I'm going to use this Guna 2 text box. So just drag and drop it over here like this. First, what you have to do is you have to change the font color, change this one to black. After this, we have to increase the font size. So change this one to 12. And when you do that, you might see something like this. So what you have to do is we have to just copy the size for this combo box and paste inside that one. Select this and paste it over here and hit enter. And in the same way, we need few more text boxes. So for that, you don't need to drag and drop it from the toolbox. What we are going to do is just copy the, this one and paste it once again. For mobile number, we need one text box. For email address, we need another. In the same way, we need for username. We need for password, like this. Now everything is in place. For date of birth, we need date time picker. So search for date time picker. It's data, it's date time picker. So I'm going to use this one, Guna to date time picker. And let me just straight this one like this. And here we go. Now what we have to do is we have to just adjust, adjust these in the proper positions so that these look nice. So like this. We have to adjust like this. So here you can see this now this one is looking nice and you can do one thing just let me just drag these all stuff little bit on the lower side like this after this in the same way you can do the same for these stuff okay like this. And after this, what we have to do is you must observe inside this one, we have something in the center. So this is nothing but one another panel. So what I have to do is let me just copy this panel size 6523 and move back over here and let me just drag one panel. Just click on this, go to size, paste the size 6, 523. Just like click like this and change the color so back color is 0 comma 118 comma 225 and hit enter and after this what we have to do is just place this one on the proper position like this when you place it like this this one will look fine and nice as well 
Next thing what we missed is nothing but few buttons. So let me drag buttons from here. So buttons, I'm going to use this Guna 2 button. So just drag and drop it over here. And what we have to do is just click on this button and change the text for now. So first I'm going to change this text to sign up. After this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the back color or fill color. So let me search for this fill color, change this one to 0, 118, 225 and enter. After this, change the border radius, border radius to 19 and the border thickness to 1. After this, hover state, change this one, hover state from fill color needs to be white and the for color needs to be of we just said that 0 comma 118 comma 225 it means that when i hover over that the text color needs to be of this one the sky blue color and the fill color needs to be of something white actually after this let me just copy the font size so move back over here, click on this. So font size for the text is nothing but Century Gothic and the font size is 12 and bold. Click on this, move back over here to the top. Click on this one, bold and 12, hit OK. And this one is looking nice. After this, what you have to do is just copy this and paste it once again, and it will copy with the same properties. And for the second button, we have to change the text. So change the text to reset. And after this, what you have to do is we have to add few images inside this one. So click on this, click on local resources, click on import. And for sign up, I have used this image. Let me just show you. Sign up, I've used this one, click on OK, OK, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just increase the size for this one, 35, 35, OK, so the size is quite large, so I'm going to decrease this one to 30, 30, and change this button, just select this image, local resources, and click on import, so reset is this one, click on open, OK, and size will be increased to 30, 30, let me just Change this one to thirty, comma thirty. That this one is better. And let's connect. Now everything is ready inside this design. So let me just connect this user control with the dashboard or administrator form with this button. So change the button name first. So okay before that we move to this one this part actually and we have to add actually a guna 2 ellipse and drag and drop it over you can't able to find any guna items then you have to just download the dll file in the description of this video and just watch the video how to add dll file into the toolbox and after that you can carry on with this so click on this and select nothing but this one you see add user it means that you have to just select the user control name just select that and press the CTR yes key save just copy this one move to this administrator.cs paste it over here just click on this and select target control to nothing but panel 2 and just save it after that what you have to do is just start this and it will take a little bit of time to make or adjust new changes so it's starting actually and next thing what you have to do is just close this and after that what you have to do is just move to the toolbox and here you will find the new stuff uc underscore add user just drag and drop it over here inside this one the panel too and you have to just paste this one on the proper position like this after this what you have to do is just click on this one the second button that is add user change the design name change this one to ptn add user hit enter 
Just double click on this, this will generate a BDN add user click event. And first thing what you, what you have to do is on that administrator load event, you have to just make that UC underscore the new thing is add user dot visible is equal to false. So first we worry about that from where I got this UC add user. This is nothing from here. When you drag and drop one UC, you can see the C stuff over here. Here you can see this. For this one, the name is nothing but UC add user one. Move back over here. And when it, this I will sure load, this user needs to be this UC needs to be visible. When I click on this BDN add user click, I want to make that visible. So UC add user dot visible is equal to true. And after that, if that one is in the background, so I want to make that or bring that to the front. So you see add user dot bring to front. Now start this and let's check if this one is working nice or not. So project is started now and the, my username is bdxbees and the password is pass sign in. When I click on this, here you can see this, everything is visible. When I select this, administrator and pharmacist is visible over here. When I hover over this, yeah, the text change and this one is looking nice. Here you can see this. Whatever right inside this one is in the black color. So everything is fine. So that's it for this video guys. The next video I'm going to show you how to backend code for this one and, and which query you have to fire into your MySQL Server Management Studio to create a table and what table exactly we have to create. The next video we are going to back and code for this user control that is nothing but add user. So till then just stay tuned and just subscribe and share with your friends and just follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.